good afternoon students uh, this is the second session of the chapter measurements and experimentation already one session uh, regarding this chapter uh, was posted uh, in the previous session we have taught uh, physical quantities there are uh, different different example of physical quantities fundamental quantities their derivation derived quantities how uh, physical quantities can be measured there was one formula of physical quantities uh, what are units uh, then different units that is length mass time all the units we have taught and today we will uh, discuss elaborately uh, length mass and time how will we measure length how can we measure time how can we measure mass what are the instruments for measuring these quantities and uh, some important concept from this chapter so at first uh, we will study measurement of length measurement of length now uh, what is length length is a physical quantity if you have seen uh, the last lecture of this chapter you can easily uh, understand that length is one of the fundamental quantity and more speci uh, precisely fundamental physical quantity clear now what is length length is an object length of an object is defined as the distance between the two extreme end as the distance between the two extreme end length is an length of an object is defined as the distance between the two extreme end suppose this is a point a and suppose this is a point b so this is ab suppose ab is a pencil consider it ab is a pencil clear so what is the length of ab this is the two extreme end point so what is the definition of length the definition of length says us that length of an object is defined as the distance between the two extreme end so this is the distance between the two extreme end this a and this b these two points are the extreme end points so the distance between the two extreme end point is the length clear so its definition is length of an object is defined as the distance between as the distance between its two extreme ends ends or you can write extreme end points so length of an object is defined as the distance between its two extreme ends clear now what are the different uh, units of length what are the different units of length what are their symbols so next is name of unit name of unit what is the symbol this is the uh, unit of length we will study the unit of length various units of length uh, we will study one by one so the first name of unit is millimeter first is millimeter its symbol is mm clear next is centimeter symbol is cm next is decimeter symbol is dm next is meter symbol is m next is kilometer symbol is km next is inch 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 your its symbol is also inch next is foot symbol is ft next is yard symbol is yd this is d next last one symbol is astronomical unit this is very important astro nomical unit symbol is capital a dot e so these are the units of length clear so this is this astronomical is important because this unit is actually the question will be asked like this what is astronomical unit clear we will say it is the unit of length astronomical unit it is the unit of length and where it is used it is used to measure the distance in space it is used to measure the distance in space that means the distance between two planets 
clear the distance between two planets for example says the distance between earth and moon or you can say the distance between sun and moon that means it is used to find distance between the space or more precisely it is used to find the distance between planets so their astronomical unit is used so just write it down it is used to measure the distance it is used to measure distance in space clear now the value of astronomical unit is very important what is the value the value is 1 astronomical unit this is equals to 1.5 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meter this is the value of 1 astronomical unit just re uh, remember this value next uh, yard what is uh, the uh, relationship of yard with feet there is a definite relationship between yard and feet we will have to know this relationship 1 yard equals to 3 feet 1 yard equals to 3 feet next feet and inch there is also relation between feet and inch what is feet or foot uh, because the plural form of foot is feet and singular form is foot so you can say feet or foot the plural form is feet so there is a relation between feet and or foot and inch that is 1 foot equals to 12 inch 1 foot equals to 12 inch clear next inch and uh, centimeter there is a relation between inch and centimeter relationship is 1 inch equals to 2.54 cm or 2.54 centimeter clear so just uh, remember these values this relationship this data is very important for your mcq type or fill in the blanks type questions clear next next uh, topic is next topic is uh, what are the instruments we use for measuring length what are the instruments we use for measuring length length so instruments what are the different instruments that are used for measuring length so all total there are four instruments all total there are four instruments for measurement of length uh, actually the measurement of length can be made using various measuring tools there are various measuring tools uh, by which we can measure the length of an object clear so uh, a very common measure common tool a very common tool is the meter ruler a very common tool is meter ruler clear that is that is a very common tool uh, it is present in the geometry box uh, of your geometry box there is a meter ruler so this is very common uh, instrument that we use for measurement of length next one is next one is meter rod next one is meter rod so number one instrument is meter ruler number one instrument is meter ruler uh, this is this will be re meter ruler number two will be meter rod number three number 3 will be measuring tape measuring tape actually this is used uh, in garments clear yeah, in cloth uh, or garment store this measuring tape is used to measure our uh, body measurement for measuring body measurement clear yeah. uh, if you went to a uh, shop to stitch your or to make your shirt or pant their measurement uh, to taking for taking measurement of your body measuring tape is used clear so this is measuring measurement or uh, measuring tape number 4 will be vernier calipers vernier calipers and the last one this is screw gauge screw gauge clear so this all total five uh, instruments are used for measurement of length now for a very small measurement very small very small measurement instruments like vernier calipers and screw gauge are used these two instrument these two instruments are used for measurement of very small length so we will write for very small uh, you can say very small length measurement 
very small length measurement these two uh, last two instruments that is binary calibration screw was are used for measurement of very small length or very small length measurement clear and the uh, rest of the uh, instruments are used for normal measurement clear so the, if the question is ask that uh, write the two instrument for measurement very small me length measurement you will write binary calibration screw gauge clear uh, okay no okay next uh, these are the used to measure the thickness diameter length and breadth etc all these instruments including binary calibration screw gauge and all of these these instruments are used to measure the thickness diameter length and breadth clear so uh, it is used to measure diameter thickness length and breadth these all these measurements are used all these uh, instruments are used for measurement of diameter thickness length and breadth clear so these are the instruments we use for measurement of uh, length for or for measuring uh, measuring length clear next next very important uh, topic or very important point regarding this measurement of length <laughs> that is parallax error what is parallax error P A R A W L A X parallax error. Clear. What is this parallax error? Now suppose this is a measurement of this is a scale or meter ruler. Suppose this is a scale or meter ruler, and there are uh, definite markings over here like zero. Consider it as a marking. Three, four. Or something five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or eleven like that. Clear. Now it says that for taking measurement, for taking measurement, correct position of the eye is very important. Whenever you are going to take a measurement with any instrument, especially with meter ruler, correct position of eye is very important. Your positioning of eye is very important. the eye must be exactly vertically above the mark to be read the eye must be present vertically above the mark to be read in other positions of the eye the reading is either more or less than the actual reading such an error arises due to the wrong positioning of eye is called as parallax error that means this error arises due to the wrong position of eye suppose you are uh, you want to take measurement uh, let Uh, this six, you are taking the measurement of six. Clear. So you have to place your eye just vertically above. Consider it as a eye. Clear. So you have to place the uh, your eye vertically above the measurement you want to take. Suppose you want to take the measurement of six. Suppose. Clear. So you have to place your eye just vertically above six. That means like this. Clear. This uh, position of eye. That means from the left position of eye, this is wrong. this is wrong also if you place eye over here this is also wrong because when you place your eye in this position or this position you will not get the measurement actual measurement of 6 you will get somewhat less than 6 or somewhat more than 6 suppose you get 5.9 or 5.8 or you may get 6.1 6.2 like this you will uh, but you want to take measurement of 6 clear so to uh, get actual measurement you have to place your eye vertically above the measurement you want to take that means the correct position of eye will be like this not this clear so this error due to the wrong positioning of eye is known as parallax error clear so uh, the definition will be like this listen carefully and note it down <coughs> for taking measurements correct position of eye is very important the eye must be exactly vertically above the mark to be read in other positions of eye the reading is either more or less than the actual reading such an error in measurement that arises due to the wrong positioning of the eye is called parallax error clear just note it down you can reverse back the uh, video and listen again and just write it, uh, write it down complete clear so this question is very important what is parallax error uh, and what precautions we need to 
do so the precautions is you have to place your eye vertically above the measurement you want to take that is the only way to prevent this parallax error clear <coughs> next so uh, that is very important uh, topic regarding measurement of length next uh, measurement measurement of area or measuring area measuring area how can we measure area now what is area area is a two dimensional uh, space figure on a plane area is a space occupied by a two dimensional figure on a plane that is the area or we can say the space occupied by a two dimensional figure on a plane is called the area of the object clear or more precisely we can say that area is the surface enclosed within the boundary of a two dimensional figure suppose the two dimensional figure is like this suppose this is a square a b c d so the space occupied this object the space occupied by this object or the space occupied by this two dimensional figure that is square on a plane is called area so the space occupied by square is this so this is the area that is the definition of area so what is the definition the definition says that the space occupied by the two dimensional figure on a plane is called the area of the object that means the definition will be like this the space occupied by a two dimensional figure two dimensional figure on a plane is called the area of a object so that is the definition of area clear for for measurement of area or for measuring area of an object we need measurement of its dimension like length and breadth to define area or to measure area we need two physical quantities one is length and the other one is breadth two physical quantities we need that is length and breadth clear that means area is a derived quantity area is not fundamental physical quantity uh, it is not a fundamental quantity it is a derived quantity because to define area we need length and breadth and by the definition of derived quantity any quantity that is dependent on physical quantity or fundamental quantity that is your derived quantity so area is your derived quantity because it is dependent on length and breadth clear that is your area what is the si unit of area si unit of area is meter square si unit of area is meter square that is the si unit of area clear this is the si unit actually next uh, larger unit of area what are the larger unit of area larger units are area like uh, suppose you want to uh, measure area of a farm or you want to measure of an area of a house or a country etc then uh, units are used like hectare and kilometer square uh, units are used like hectare kilometer now there is the measurement measurement uh, of uh, suppose you want to take a measurement of farm or you want to take a measurement of country or you want to take a measurement of house then uh, area uh, quant unit of area is used like hectare and kilometer square this is kilometer square these two quantities are used this is the this is uh, used actually the area of farm suppose you want to take a area of farm or you want to take area of country clear these two units are used sometimes kilometer square for country is also used so these are the units used for measurement of larger area or bigger area clear next one next one uh, suppose uh, you want to take measurement of uh, square suppose you want to take measurement of square or you can uh, you want to take measurement of rectangle these are the small small units these are the small units Me measurement of um, uh, you can take measurement of the rectangle parallelogram square rectangle these are the small small uh, area that means we can use here units like meter square or centimeter square sometimes millimeter square 
clear these are the not uh, bigger units these are smaller units uh, these are smaller units or smaller area so we can use units like this but hectare square and kilometer square we, we have to use hectare square uh, for the measurement of bigger units like house country or farm we will use unit like hectare square kilometer square etc etc clear <coughs> next uh, measurement of mass the third one that is that we will study measurement of mass or you can say measuring mass the third physical quantity measuring measuring mass measuring mass next one is your measuring mass uh, so what is mass what is mass mass of an object is the amount of matter that is contained in it what is the definition of mass mass of an object is the amount of matter that contained in it that is uh, the object is composed of a matter that is your mass so definition is mass of an object mass of an object is the amount mass of an object is the amount of matter is the amount of matter contained in it contained in it that is the mass more the matter uh, of a substance heavier is the mass that means if the amount of matter is more in the object mass is more that means the object will more heavy clear and if the amount of matter contained in the object is less then mass will be less and the object will be less heavy clear so this is the mass now what are the instruments we use for measuring this mass what are the instruments we use for measuring this mass or for measuring the mass of an object there are two instruments available for measuring mass um, of an object general uh, in general there are two instruments one is the beam balance and the another one is the electro digital uh, weighting machine or you can say electronic weighting machine or digital weighting machine clear there are all total two instruments sometimes uh, beam balance that is also known as physical balance beam balance something uh, sometimes also known as physical balance in um, some books uh, there are uh, three instruments given one is beam balance one is physical balance and the another one is electronic uh, weighting machine or digital weighting machine so we will write three instruments uh, separately number one beam balance number two physical balance and number three electronic electronic or sometimes it is says digital weighing machine or weighing balance these are the three instruments we use for measurement of mass now uh, there are some units also like uh, length and area there are some units by which we will measure mass uh, for some units are like kg gram milligram mg or you can say quintal quintal or ton these are the units used for measurement of mass now this quintal and ton these are used for uh, using for using larger mass or bigger masses these two uh, units quintal and ton these two units are used for measurement of larger mass or bigger mass and the remaining three that is kg gram and milligram these are for small amount of mass now uh, what is the what is quintal quintal is actually there is a relationship between quintal and kg relationship uh, just recall this value one quintal means there are 100 kg one quintal means 100 kg and one ton one ton what is one ton one ton means 10 quintals one ton means 10 quintals that means one quintal is 100 kg so 10 quintal will be 10 into 100 kg that means we can write 10 into 100 kg that means 1000 kg Clear. So there are these are the relationship between quintal uh, kg and ton. So one quintal means 100 kg, 
and one ton means 10 quintals. So one quintal is 100 kg. So 10 quintals will be 10 into 100 kg. That means 1000 kg. So we can say one ton means 10 quintals, or we can say one ton means 1000 kg. These are the units for measurement of mass. <clears throat> Next, so we uh, have uh, studied there are three instruments for measuring mass. One is beam balance, one is physical balance, and one is electronic or digi uh, digital weighing, uh, weighing balance. Clear? Now, uh, what actually beam balance looks like? You, ha you have seen the beam balance. Uh, almost every one of us seen the beam balance. It is used in shop for measurement, grocer shop particularly for measurement of mass. It's look like this. Suppose uh, these are rod and there is a pan where objects are placed. Looks almost like this. This is a pan. These two are metallic pans where object is kept. This is a pointer. Here, uh, this is a pointer clear and this is the horizontal beam actually rod and there is a metallic rod horizontal beam horizontal beam clear so uh, this is the uh, beam balance actually clear this is one of the simplest instrument we have seen in the grocer shop for measuring mass one of the simplest instrument one of the simplest in instrument is this beam balance that we have seen in the grocer shop. A beam balance consists of a horizontal metallic beam with a support and pointer at its center. Look at this, the pointer, I have marked the pointer and uh, it is consists of a horizontal metallic beam. Horizontal metallic beam, we have uh, marked the horizontal, this, this is a horizontal metallic beam clear, and a pointer. It actually support the total instrument, the total beam balance. The beam can move freely about the support from and from the end of the beam two similar pans are suspended such that they are equidistant from the center of the beam now the the beam this is the beam balance the beam can move freely about the support it can move freely that means this beam this is the uh, beam balance and this two in uh, position this two two portion can move freely without any hesitation clear and the, the the from the end of the beam that is from end of this horizontal beam two similar pans are suspended these two similar pairs, these two are similar, that means uh, they are of actually the same length. Neither of them is longer or neither of them is smaller. These two are actually exactly similar, that means the length of this two, uh, two uh, beam balance is same. Clear? And this is horizontal and the, uh, they are suspended such that they are equidistant from the center of the beam. So if this is the center of the beam, suppose this is the center of the beam and this, uh, these two beam are equidistant. That means the, the distance from this and the distance of this, these two distance are same. If this is the center of the beam balance, these two uh, horizontal pan are equidistant from the center. That means this distance and this distance are same. Clear? This is the beam balance. Now, what is the principle of this beam balance? This question is asked that what is the principle of the beam balance or write the principle of beam balance. Its principle is when both the pans are empty, listen carefully, when both of these pans are empty or loaded with equal masses, a state of equilibrium is achieved. When both these pans are empty or loaded with equal masses, equal masses means suppose we have placed an object, this and its mass is 2 kg, suppose. So we will place another same object, similar object of mass 2 kg. That means it is equipped with equal masses or it can be uh, remaining as empty or you can, uh, you can uh, make it as empty. Clear? So the principle is when both of the uh, pans are empty or loaded with equal masses, a state of equilibrium that is a state of balance. Equilibrium means balance is achieved in such a state. The beam is horizontal and the pointer points vertically up. This pointer points vertically up. That means if these two pans contains equal masses or if these two pans are empty, then a balance is achieved. That means these two pans are in similar distance from the center. Neither of them is uh, gets down or neither of them gets up. Clear? These two pans are similar and a balance is achieved. In such a state, the beam is horizontal and the pointer points vertically up. This is the principle of this beam balance. Just note it down, write it down and um, 
draw this diagram clear uh, what happened is that uh, suppose you have placed an object of mass 6 kg in this pan and in this pan you have placed 10 kg so what will happen this pan goes down and this pan goes up because this is the larger mass than this so if you place 10 kg this is 6 kg if you place 10 kg so this pan will get down because this is heavier and this 6 kg this is lighter so it will goes up clear but if you if you remove these two masses it will be again in a state of balance that means these two are will be in equal uh, equal position or if you place here 10 kg here also 10 kg both of equal masses so the beam balance also uh, will be in a balanced position neither of them gets down or neither of them gets up so this is the principle of beam balance uh, next working the question uh, ask what is the working of beam balance how beam balance works now uh, to find the mass of an object to find the mass of any object it is placed on one pan and standard weights are kept on the other pan that means suppose you want to take mass of 6 kg object so you will place 6 kg in one pan 6 kg object suppose a packet of uh, biscuits suppose a packet of many packets of biscuits there are all total 10 packets 10 packets of biscuits are there total 6 kg weight and you have placed this in this pan so in this uh, to weight uh, these 10 packets of um, biscuits you will use standard weight you will use standard weight and place this in this pan and start uh, and start measuring the weight the standard weight that means available in the beam balance so uh, with this beam balance many standard weights come uh, this whenever you want to purchase this beam balance in a shop there are a small boxes where standard weights are kept these weights you will use for measurement of an object these weights you will use for measurement of mass of an object so standard weight the question asks like this what are the standard weights available in the beam balance the standard weights are 5 gram 5 gram 10 gram 20 gram 50 gram 100 gram and 500 gram so all total six standard weights came with this beam balance 5 gram 10 gram 20 gram 50 gram 10 100 gram and 500 gram with this uh, standard weights you will measure mass of an object suppose uh, this is 6 kg this is 6 kg so to measure 6 kg what will you use you will use first 5 5 gram uh, not 5 gram this is kg so 6 kg 6 kg means you will first use this 500 gram clear or uh, you can also use like this this is 6 kg clear so this is 500 gram total 500 gram weight and so to measure uh, this 6 kg 6 kg means 6000 gram 6 kg means 6000 gram so you will you can use 500 gram you can use uh, many 500 gram masses uh, uh, there are 4 or 5 500 gram masses with this uh, some 100 gram to equal this 600 kg or uh, sorry 6 kg or 6000 gram or you can also use these are the uh, standard these are the standard objects or standard weights came with the beam balance for measurement of smaller masses for measurement of smaller masses now you can use these uh, standard weights for measurement of 6 kg but you need more objects or more weights because this is a 6000 kg and these are the units used for smaller measurement of mass now these are the uh, standard weights came with the beam balance for the smaller uh, for the uh, smaller measurement another set of boxes came with the beam balance these are this is the one set of boxes for smaller measurement and another set of boxes came with the beam balance for the larger masses larger masses so one is for 1 kg 1 kg standard weight is used another one is given for 2 kg another one is given for 5 kg another one is given for 10 kg and the last one is given for 20 kg so to measure 6 kg of object you will use 1 5 kg from this and you will use 1 kg of this that means 2 standard weights 5 kg 1 kg total 6 kg and you will place in this pan one is 5 kg and one is 5 kg to 6 kg that is equal 
in this way we will use uh, standard weights to measure masses using this beam barrel that means two set of boxes two set a uh, set of standard weight boxes came with this beam balance this is for smaller measurement set one box and this is for uh, larger masses that means set two box all total six and four this six and four ten masses or ten standard weights came by which we will um, use this and take out the measurement of mass of an object these are the uh, working of beam balance this question Uh, can ask in your exam what is the principle and what is the uh, working of beam balance clear and uh, very importantly the question asks like this what are the measurement of uh, standard weights came with the beam balance so you will write for the smaller measurement or smaller measurement of mass weight standard weights are used like 5 gram 10 gram 20 gram 50 gram 100 gram and 500 gram and for the larger masses uh, the objects came like this 1 kg 2 kg 5 kg 20 kg and uh, 10 kg clear so these are the uh, measurement of mass using beam balance now what are the uh, precautions we we need to take to get the accurate reading what are the precautions we need to take to get accurate reading using this beam balance number one both the arms of the beam balance must be of equal length both the arms that is this one one arm and this is the second arm of the beam balance both of these arms must be of equal length and both the pans must be of equal mass number uh, this is this is the, this is the first arm and this is the second arm of the beam balance both of these arms should be equal length and both of these pans both of these pans must be of equal mass number one condition number two when both the pans are empty the beam should be horizontal and the pointer should be vertical when both of these beams are empty the pointer should be vertically above or vertical that means this pointer should be vertically above and the beam should be horizontal clear sometimes in many uh, faulty physical balance this pointer is not vertically above when the beam balance is empty or this horizontal beam this should be straight that means horizontal and uh, instead of uh, horizontal position the beam balance looks like this that means some tilted position this is wrong beam balance clear the beam balance should be placed at horizontal position whenever the beam is empty so there are two conditions one when the both the pans are empty the beam should be horizontal and the pointer should be vertical number two both of the arms of the beam balance must be of equal length and both the pans must be of equal masses clear next uh, instrument is electronic or you can say digital beam balance uh, electronic digital beam balance or electronic or digital not beam balance electronic or digital weighing machine weighing machine it is now used uh, in shops instead of this beam balance this is actually nowadays used in shops it is electronically whenever uh, this is this looks uh, this looks almost like this there, there is a broad surface and there are some switches over here clear and uh, there are some boxes it it show it displays the uh, measurement of mass suppose you have given 2 kg of object over this uh, plane surface and the reading here clearly shows 2 kg electronically there are some switches over here and uh, the wires there are some wires uh, and it is connected to a plug and there is a switch so it is uh, electronically and it uses our power it it uses current or power so this looks like electronic or uh, digital weighing balance clear this is now used in actually uh, in shops nowadays instead of this physical beam balance because the weight is uh, measured accurately using this electronic or digital weighing balance instead of this physical beam balance clear so that's all for today uh, in the next day we will study the last topic that is measurement of time in this session we have covered measurement of area and measurement of length there are different instruments in the next session we will study the last topic that is measurement of time and the chapter will complete thank you